Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24 seven. This is gonna be a technique video, a process video, uh, but not for the whole thing, just basic technique on how to put these really fun um, Anna Griffin stained glass window uh, panel cards together. Um, this utilizes the Anna Griffin, let's see, it's right here. The Anna Griffin stained glass card front, four by six dies. Um, this set here, two different designs. Um, comes with six dice total and these are really really pretty and fun to use um, I am only gonna run through how to put each of the different cards together um, and that is primarily because every time I've tried to do this video um, it was well over an hour long and um, the uh, two part ones don't usually work that well for me uh, primarily because uh, you see the first part or you see the second part but you never find the other part so i'm trying to keep it all in one compact video so if you want to know how to do it it's all right there um together in one spot so um we're just going to jump right into this uh i want to let you know right up front um if you're looking for a specific one um like just zoom through there fast forward go fast button until you get to the one you want and um then proceed from there however i am gonna just do if i've already done the technique in the previous card i'm not gonna actually um do it again in the next card how to do the next card so um there is that um the other thing is um this is probably going to be about a i'm gonna try to keep it under the 45 minute mark um but i don't know i don't know how long it is so you might pause get a cup of coffee a uh, refreshing beverage, some iced tea or something, and then uh, hang out for a while. Um, or go to something else because we're not actually making cards today. <laughs> we are literally just doing techniques. So let's get started since we know it's going to be a long one. <laughs> All right, so um, basic where you start uh, for these uh, stained glass cards is you have to start with the card base because they're all a type of, well, not all of them, but most of them are a type of window pane card meaning that a window panel card meaning you can see right through there's a hole that goes through the other side of the card front and so how you get that is and then this stained glass effect um with these window panel cards uh you always need a card base and you always need at least one top layer and any layers that you put on top you want to line up uh together and cut them all out at the same time um like this one this one here this one has a one two that one only has two layers i thought there was one that had three uh this this one here has three so this one has the card base a matte layer a second matte layer and then the card front panel so i lined all three of those together and then cut them all out at the same time uh, to get my window on the front of the card so whatever you layer on the front you want to be able to cut all the way through or line up really good on each one to where you know they're going to line up really nice on the front of the card uh, so basically how you do that is uh, you take and you um let's see you you take your card base you line you put double-sided adhesive are not double-sided you take and you put um temporary tape or washi tape on the back of it um right in the center i put two rolls i do the little rolled tape where you fold one in over and fold the sticky side back over onto itself like that so the sticky side's out and then and so two makes it to where it doesn't shift as much uh as you're die cutting it so then what you want to do is you want to line this up on the front um, and and press it down then you want to take your uh, whatever you're cutting cutting the front panel die out with uh, of you want to cut that die out that panel out already you want to line that up on the front of your card and then you want to line up uh, the, the coordinating uh, window frame die that goes with that um, so you're just going to take this and you're going to line this up after you get this this lined up on the front you're going to line this up on the front and then you're going to tape it down. And then, uh, let's see, let's just fake it real quick. I always put some on each side. Uh, I'm not going to do it on each side, I'm just going to show you. 
Um, so you just put a little piece and you want to put it on the inside of the die um, because you're discarding this piece anyways. Um, and because a lot of times if you get it out here, it will rip the paper. That's been my experience. So then I would put another piece here. So then you'll want to take this off. You're going to put this then on your plates. This is how I do it anyways. And I put the edge of my card on to the edge of my cutting mat. And then I put my top plate on on the edge of that. And what you can do to protect the top of it, you can put a piece of copy paper over the top of that. And then I run it through my Empress just like this. And then this will just stick out. It'll be just fine. But that edge needs to be lined up with the edge of your cutting mat, with the edge of your top plate. And the reason you're doing that is so you don't, you get the least amount of impressions in the front of your card as possible. And then once you do that, what you end up with then is... I don't want to lose this. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and put it with my dies. Um, so then what you end up with is you end up with this here. So it cuts out the two middle pieces and see like the tape. I don't know if you can tell right there, but it ripped it a little. And then I went to take it off this one because I got a tiny bit of tape, but it actually ripped it there. I can actually glue that back down though. Um, and it, it won't be a big deal. But you end up with this and your your opening in the front of your card. It leaves a little impression on the top of the card panel. But that actually shows you where your um, panel lines up. And so uh, the thing is, is if you go to like line this up um, and it's turned a different way because it's, you know, kind of tossed around on your table like I do. You'll want to try it all directions. Um, so that way you get the best fit too because sometimes it's not perfectly centered and the hole will be off so you want to be mindful of that so this is where you start so as soon as you get this done so the first one I'm going to show you how to do the technique how to get the vellum in the card is this one so this has a vellum layer and so what you want to do is you want to take and this happens to be uh, the front of a card base this was a vellum card base I cut the front off and this is four and a half by six and a half. And what it is, is you want your vellum layer to be smaller than your front mat layer. And what you're going to do is you are going to go and you're going to adhere this onto the back of your front mat layer. And then you can either pop this up with dimensionals and line it up over the hole. Or you can just glue it right down and line this mat layer up to the uh, front of the hole there. And then that's how you get, that's how you get the vellum out of the front. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love these vellum cards. These are so gorgeous. And this has that blue that matches the blue on that design. Oh, love that. See, I'll tape that down or put a decoration over it or something like that. But that's how you get the vellum. So that's all you do with that card. So that technique done. And then finish decorating, you know, put your panel on and do all that fun stuff. Put your flowers on and all that. So um, put your... And then if these have adhesive on the back, you just pop your frame in there and bada bing, bada boom, you've got a beautiful card and then you embellish it with flowers. Okay, so there's that one. So that one's done. So now, uh, now, so the next uh, style, if you want to do the, okay, so we're going to, so now that I already showed you how to do the window panel through the front of the card and your mat layer, um, if you want to do a shaker card like this one, or if you want to do a acetate stained glass window panel like this, so this is the shaker one, it's got the diamond dust in it, or you're doing the acetate with just the colored, the colored acetate layers, uh, what you want to do is you want to cut, so you want to do the same thing, you want your card base, you want at least one matte layer, and you want to cut your window through it. Uh, and you want to, you want your, um, you know, your front uh, card panel. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need two pieces of four and a quarter by six and a quarter clear cardstock panels. These are Heartfelt Creations. Um clear cardstock. That's what I like to use. And I use it because it's absolutely pristine 
crystal like i mean it is gorgeous so see-through you can also just use acetate as well and that works really good too um this is just much clearer uh, than acetate it has a much more crisp view viewing window uh, than acetate does that's why i like to use this they were out of stock and i just i just ordered a whole bunch because they finally got it in again and so i ordered a whole bunch of this but heartfelt creations this is my favorite now this does not cut out very well um like if you're just using it for a window panel um, but if you're wanting to like cut the oval out for like the ornament you will have to um, it'll leave an embossed line and you'll have to tr hand trim around that embossed line if you want to use this stuff. Otherwise, I would suggest just using acetate because the acetate, the dial cut it out. Um, so there's that. The other thing I'm using for the gold frames is I'm also using their Lux Gold, Heartfelt Creations Lux Gold. I love this stuff with adhesive on the back. And then for the uh, colored acetate pieces, I'm actually using, these are um, transparency light layers is what these are. These are 0 0.03 mil. And you want to be at least 0 0.03 mil or less, but you don't want cellophane. Cellophane is a little on the flimsy side, although you can use it. It's just a little harder to work with. Um, this is much nicer, and this is 0 0.03 light transparency overlays is what these are on Amazon. Okay, and so with that, um, so then you're going to need, so after you cut your two four and a quarter by six and a quarter panels out, you just want to make sure they're going to go over your hole. Um, you want to cut out whatever colors of acetate you want. When you cut these out, you want to be sure that you have a relatively uh, new magnetic mat if you're cutting into the magnetic mat. Um, one that's not squished down and super flat. Um, if it's used in stuff, it's not a big deal. It's just, you don't want it really squished because I have a couple that have cracks in them and they're really flat and it doesn't like to cut as well on those. Um, but if I use one that's been used, um, but still has its thickness, this cuts pretty good. And all you have to do is just pop the pieces out and, um, they're still kind of attached. You just have to pop them out though. Um, the thing I'll say is when you cut this, you want to be sure to take there's a, a protective cover on both sides. See how that like is foggy and this one's this one's clear and this one's a little foggy. You have to peel these off. And so then when I cut these, um, I and there's one on the front and the back. So that's the front one. And I just scratch the corner of it with my fingernail. And then you just peel it off like that. And see how pretty that is? So so clear. Um, and then I put this in between a folded piece of copy paper. Um, just a cheap or some throwaway paper. I just fold it in half. Well, fold it in half. <laughs> it's not doing it on cue. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's having a Monday. Um, so then I just pop this in the center, put my die on top, fold it over, run it through, and it keeps it really nice. Um, if I'm doing my acetate, cutting my acetate windows out too, um, for like the ornament, I do the same thing. Put the acetate in a piece of copy paper, put the die on, run it through, yada, yada. And so that's how you do that. So you want whatever colors you want to use for your shaker or your acetate, um, just the stained glass portion. And so if you are doing... So now, so that's that piece. So two clear cardstock panels, your colored acetate. You want one frame with adhesive on the back. And when you cut this out, you want to cut out all your layers. So you want to cut out the front frame, the front frame a piece, your acetate pieces, as well as either a piece of cardstock with adhesive on both sides or a piece of three mil, so three mil foam sheet with adhesive on both sides as well. Um, you want to cut them all at the same. And the reason you do that is so when you go to piece this frame on the top, for the most part, it matches up really nice and you don't see it's off. You don't see that it's off um, 
any white pieces, as much white sticking out as you don't really like that look. Um, trust me, you don't like it. <laughs> you want it to all line up as best as possible. So you want to cut all these out at the same time. So, okay. So whether you're doing a shaker window, three mil foam, uh, or the acetate, just the stained glass one is only a piece of cardstock adhesive on both sides, adhesive, both sides, foam sheet. So then what you're going to do is save the pieces out of the cardstock one, save these pieces out of the cardstock one, um, because all these pieces are what makes the next card after these. Um, so you're going to pop all these out. You don't need them. When you do the foam sheet, though, you want to make sure when you cut the, the foam frame out to leave all the pieces in the foam frame. So hang on one second. Let's see. I should have cut, but that'll be easy to cut the other panels for that. Um, I should have done that. I didn't cut extra panels. I was only doing the one. So I, and I should have done this off camera, but that's okay. Um, so just be sure. Um, so now what you're going to do is save these pieces because those double-sided adhesive pieces are what make the glitter card here. Um, so now if you're going to, so now what you want to do is you want to take your, one of your acetate panels or not acetate, your clear cardstock panels, you then want to take whether either one, whether you're doing um, the shaker or the stained glass, you want to take and peel one side of the backer off, the sticker adhesive back off, and make sure to get all the different pieces off. Yeah, make sure all the pieces are off. And then all you're going to do is just line this right up, line it up in the middle of that acetate panel. And you're just going to make sure that you burnish it down really good. And I use a piece of uh, paper towel or you can use a, um, anything else over the top of it, anything soft, microfiber towel. Um, and this will help get your grubby fingerprints off the window plus burnish it down you want to just burnish that adhesive really really nicely down to that clear cardstock panel and then what you're going to do if you're doing this one here the stained glass window you're going to peel off the front backer as well and then all you're going to do is you're going to piece once you peel that off and the reason I peel this off is because it's easier to peel this off and then piece these in and then these don't the pieces don't flick out. But you you could do it either way. You could either piece this in and then peel it off and then put everything back in that flicks out, or you can take it off and then put all these in. And then all you're gonna do is whatever colors that you want for the stained glass, because this is just a cardstock one, all you're gonna do is you're gonna piece in your design. So you're just going to take whatever colors you cut out and you're going to piece them right in. So like say you wanted the outside frame to be blue and then you wanted some of the pieces on the inside to be clear. You could do that and then the other pieces like like you could do this. We could do all those and then we could piece these four and then do all those and the frame and then I'll leave all of these clear. So then after you get all the pieces... I know it's hard to visualize, but you're going to just, um, sorry about that. Um, cause it is just a technique video. I can't, I'll be here for a month of Sundays trying to, to put this video together and then you guys will be asleep. <laughs> um, but you're literally just going to keep popping them all in, peel your backer off, and then you're going to put your other, once you get this done, uh, and you peel the backer off after everything's pieced in, you're going to put score tape on the edge. And I use eighth inch score tape. Um, you're just going to put eighth inch score tape all the way around. Um, you'll want to make sure all your fingerprints are off as well. So use your... You're just going to put score tape around the edge. That's all you're going to do. Put score tape all the way around the edge. And then after... Uh, you get that. Take the backer off your score tape. Peel all the backers off after you get it all the way around. And then you're just going to you're gonna line this up to this panel here. And you're going to sandwich it together like that. That's what you're going to do. You're going to sandwich it just like that. And then you're going to have a beautiful... See how pretty that is with all the clear pieces? 
And if if that if you peeled the backer off that, it would all stick together. And all you're doing uh, by adhering these two panels together is you're helping everything to stay together. And so then once you get this all pieced in, you peel the acid the backer off that piece and you put the score tape around it and peel those all off and stick these two together. What you're going to do is in between your mat layer and the cardstock on top of the cardstock, you're then going to put acid or you're going to put score tape on the back of this window panel and you're going to adhere it down. You're going to line up this frame inside that window and you're going to adhere it down. Oh, see, because it's not stuck together. It's all falling out. Oh, maybe I should just go ahead. Well, I'd have to do a design, though. Um, I'll just do a blue design, a blue and clear design. Hold on. Let me piece it together. Hold on. Okay, so once you get your little design pieced in, you're going to... Oh, I forgot the score tape. Hold on. Okay, so you're going to peel all the backers off the score tape. And then also before you do that, you want to make sure to get all your little fingerprints off as well because they'll show up. Then you're just going to line these up. Whoopsie. You're just going to line them up. Oh, way better than that. Darn it. But it's okay because you know what? This, that's why you're sticking it behind the panel. Um, So that way, if you did schmutz it up like I just did, you can fix it. And then this has adhesive. Since this has adhesive on both sides, it's sticking to the window as well. So burnish down your other score tape really, really good. And then see, it. that's what holds all the pieces in from them falling out. You do want to make sure you get them in there. I was in a hurry trying to get this done. But let me trim these off a little bit. And then, oh no, I don't need to do that. We don't need to mess around with that. So then what you would do is, after you trimmed this up and it was nice, you're going to line this up with this. And um, make sure that you, you're going to put score tape on the back. Put score more score tape on the back. Peel those backers off. Line it up with the holes. So your goal is to line this up with this here, like that. And then you're going you're gonna to adhere it down. And so then that gives you your window like so. Right? How cool is that? So then all you're going to do for the front of it is you're then going to take your front mat layer and you're going to go right over the top of that. Uh, you want to, you know, line it all up and make sure it's all pretty and stuff. But that's what that's going to look like. It's just, just like that. How cool, right? So then, um, so then if you were doing a shaker portion, let me get two more window panes and I'll just show you. Hold on. Okay, so now what you want to do is, um, for the shaker part, this one is a little bit different. Um, remember I said you want to make sure to keep all the pieces in your uh, shaker foam? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over, and you're just going to, the goal for this, to get it adhered down, you're just going to peel the frame off. What would be the frame like this? You're going to peel that backer off and leave all the other backers on the inset pieces because we're going to pop those out and we do not want them to stick down. Um, while you're peeling this off though, some of the pieces might like the papers might rip. It might not all come off. It's okay if it doesn't um, because you can just rip it a little and then press that piece back down like I just did and then uh, you'll be fine and you can still take it out. See like these have a propensity for um, wanting to peel up. So I just rip the backer there whoops and then see that the top is still like it ripped off it's okay they'll still come off so then i'm just gonna try and that little triangle one down there nope we got that one perfect okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this shaker portion in the center of your window panel and then you're gonna press this down really really good really 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 good I guess this one actually doesn't matter. And then this one, you're going to keep the backer on the top. You're not going to peel it off um, because you're going to put shaker bits in this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're now going to take off, take out all these elements here. And so let me do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get those all taken out, all um, all you get to do now is you get to piece in your design and uh, what you want to see with your acetate you're going to you're going to paper piece in all your acetate pieces just like I did with this one 
um, you're going to pick a design you want. And then the clear ones, you're going to take a little spoon and you're going to fill those with diamond dust. So this is what I used here. This is a Flora Craft diamond dust. You get it on Amazon. You just take a little spoon and you just fill in all the little spaces. You just get a little out, fill in all the little spaces. And then once you get your design with your colored acetate after you pee, and you're just literally piecing in these, you're pulling, you know, you're popping them out and you're literally just pushing them in. And I just make sure that I just push them all the way to the back and they fit right in there. And then all the empty ones, I literally just pour, um, you know, like this and just put a little scoop in there. I don't want to do that right now because I, I'm not ready to make this a card. <laughs> um, that would just take forever. Not forever, but I have a bunch of other ones. So then after you get this done, all filled the way you want, you want to be really, really, really careful. And you want to go ahead and start peeling your backer off. And I do a, a little pokey tool to help me. And you just want to ever so gently peel that all the backer piece and make sure you get all the backer pieces off because the, the um, adhesive that's on the top of this and on the bottom is all that actually holds um, this window pan panel together because once you get that peeled off very carefully, you're going to take your other clear panel and you're going to then put that right, line it up and put it right on the top. And you're just going to press it down, use a paper towel and make sure, because this will take your fingerprints off of it as well, and burnish it really, 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 really good. So then you're just going to continue like you did um, this one here. You're going to take this panel. You're going to, oh, but don't, don't try not to drag it on the table because it will put scratches in the cardstock. So then you're going to line this up with your, you're going to um, put score tape on the back of it, line it, line it up and or or he, adhesive tape runner, whatever you have, line it up, and then you're going to adhere this to the front of that. And then that's how you get the shaker. And um, it, it'll look really, really cool once it's all done. It'll look. And then you put your frame piece with adhesive on, or you could glue it down. I do adhesive because it doesn't gush out and make the window look ugly. And then you pop your frame piece on. You can put your window panel on. Uh, the front the front card panel on whatever you want to decorate it put all your flowers on and then that's how you get this card here like that that fun pretty see-through card there so that's the two of those that's how you get that one and how you get the shaker one so then um from so then from the um we're done with these we still need that now we we need this. So from this card here, when we uh, when when we cut the panel, this cardstock panel, we had all these pieces uh, left that were in here, and I was like, man, we really need to do something fun with these because they got adhesive on both sides. So what I did was I cut out a, I just took the layering die, cut out an oval, then I took and I cut out a frame. A cardstock frame and what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere this to the top of this oval so let me get some glue and put that on you could put adhesive on the back of this I just forgot to but I'm gonna glue this down I'll be right back okay so now that that is adhered down um, so you see how this card has two different colors of glitter you can actually do this however many colors you want and uh, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take you're gonna pick which spots you want what color and you're going to paper piece in all of those that you want the same color. So um, let's pretend like these here, um, these like little butterfly looking wings are what we want um, to have all the same color. What you're going to do is you're going to peel the backer off of each of these pieces. And you're going to pop them in where they live. And you're going to burnish them down because they got adhesive on the back. You're going to burnish them down really, really good. They actually have adhesive on both sides. I could just about do white glitter on this one. <laughs> um, I generally actually do this card first. 
Oh, yeah, see, I didn't get it lined up. I do this card first because um, oh, it's usually easier to figure out where the pieces go, where they really live, if you just piece them in, into the same spot where you took them out of. Um, so I, I actually try to do this card first before I do the acetate window one. But it gets so exciting. Um, ah, it gets so exciting uh, trying to put that acetate one together. Is it, does this one even live here? Yeah, because that's, that's honestly the easier is if you, when you take them out, you put, see that one's, that is where that one lives. Um, They fall right into place. You're, yeah, you're just peeling all the backers off and then burnishing them down in their little spots. You're pressing them down in. And then all you're going to do, now this is where it gets fun. This is how you get the glitter on. You peel those, the backer pieces on the top adhesive, you, you peel those off now. See, like that? They peel right off. And you're going to do that all the way around. Um... Hang on. See, like that. But let me get these off, and then I forgot to get the glitter. <laughs> I'll go get the glitter. Hold on. Okay, so after you get your design piece in, you're going to take, and you're going to... Uh, uh. <laughs> I have a little rainstorm of glitter. <laughs> I got a ladybug. We can take care of that. But you're going to take your glitter, and then you're just going to shake it over those little spaces that you filled in and that you took the backer off and they have adhesive now revealed. So you're just going to shake a little over them like so. And you want to make sure you get all your pieces burnished down really good too. And so then after you get them all covered in glitter, what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to fold over your copy paper or your, you know, throwaway paper and you're going to burnish that, um, glitter into that adhesive you want to just press that in there um really good just press 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 that glitter into those spaces really really good pretty sure that's where it is yeah okay and then once you get them burnished in there really good you're gonna just go ahead and tap them off and when you, like, if you end up with um, some extra glitter where you don't want it, but look how fun those are. Um, just take a paintbrush. Hang on. Take a soft bristled paintbrush and you can just brush, brush those, those, those pieces off. Um, all that, all the extra glitter, you can just brush it off. Oh, like so. Just make sure, you know, to get as much of the other stuff off as you can. And then you're just going to keep... Now Now what you're going to do is after you put this all back, you're going to put this all back in your little jar. And then you're going to get your little ladybug out and you're going to vacuum up all this extra glitter. <laughs> Hang on, let me vacuum this up. <laughs> okay, so then... Um, as soon as you get the first one done, you're going to then piece in the next part of your design and do the exact same thing until you get it all filled in um, with the different colors. So, you know, no matter, I mean, if you have a slew of uh, glitters, you your possibilities are endless. Hold on. Yeah, so your possibility on color combo is completely endless, depending on how many you have, <laughs> different color of glitters you have. Because a little on that stuff goes a long way. So now once you get that done, this card is actually really simple. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get your um, card base. You're going to layer it up how you want to. And then you're going to figure out where you want this piece. Now whatever you do to this one here is what you want to do with the top. Um, you're going to... Oh, I forgot the, what you want to do is you want to get, so if you pop this one up on dimensionals, the layer we put on top of this, you want to pop up on dimensionals as well. So hang on, let me get the, cause, um, so what you want to do then too, is you need a piece, you need your card front panel die, a uh, kit out and whatever you want, but then you need a piece of clear cardstock that is 
three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So just a smidgen uh, smaller than this size here. This is four by six. And that's why I was kind of saying that. But basically, if you just trim off a tiny hair of four by six, um, it'll be the perfect size. And then you want to um, don't put that on just yet, but you need it. So let me get that piece because I don't have it. Hold on. Okay, so so your first step is what you want to do is you want to line up this card front on the or this card panel on the front of your card, wherever you want that. And then you're going to take and you're going to line this up in the center of that and you're going to adhere it down. So whether you glue it down, then you're going to glue this one down. If you put it on dimensionals, then you're going to put this one on dimensionals as well. But you're, you you want to put this one down first. And then once you get this down... What you want to do is you want to put um, tape runner or score tape. I use score tape on the back of this and adhere, adhere then your clear panel to the back of that. And then um, what that's going to do is, so pretend like we glued this one down. We're going to then score tape this one over the top of that after we adhere these two together. And what that does is, and then that's that's how you get this look. This one's popped up on dimensionals. So if you wanted it to look identical to this one, um, you would pop this one up on dimensionals. But what happens is the clear cardstock then seals all the glitter onto this panel here because you've done this exact same thing to um, to each one. Well, this one, when you glue it down or put dimensionals on it, is really taut against that panel and it holds it in. And actually the static cling from the window um, also helps to keep the glitter right there where you want it. And so then what you do from here is you take and you put your window frame on the top of it. You just line it right up. These, I use the one, I put adhesive on the back. So I peel the adhesive backer off and then I go ahead and put it down. And that's so you, like I said before, you don't get schmutzies on the window. The glue doesn't ooze out and that kind of thing. And when you put this on the front, you really want to burnish it down really, really well. Take your paper towel. So you do a two for one. You clean the window pane plus you shine up your um, frame on the top of it. But you want to burnish that really good on the top. And then... That's how you get the, and then that's how you get that look is just like that, like, right. And then that glitter bounces to the clear cardstock and back and forth. And it just is really fun. Uh, like this one here, just super, super fun. And then you get to use up all the pieces that come out of that frame from making the, um, acetate panel, right? How fun is that? Right? Okay. So there's that one. And now... Um, okay, so we're done with those. Um, so the next card is, let's go ahead and do the ornament. So the ornament card. So the ornament card, you're going to do the same way that you do the vellum card panel at the very front. You're going to cut your window in. You're going to layer your, um, you're going to layer your vellum over the top of your, whether you glue it to the back of this, you adhere it to the back of this card front panel, or you layer it on the card base and then layer everything on top of it. Either way, um, you want to do the same thing to get your window panel card. Um, then what you want to do is you find want to find something, a sentiment or something at the bottom and put it on dimensionals. And that's what's actually going to hold your ornament on the front. Uh, plus the wire. So then what you're going to do is just like we did the shaker one, um, you're going to cut two oval panels. So I used clear cardstock. So I did have to hand trim these out um, because it that die doesn't cut through this. This is just too durable. Um, so I cut two, but I just hand, after I got the embossed line on the clear cardstock panel I then just hand trimmed them out so then you also want to cut out two uh frames for the outside one for the front one for the back then you want to cut out your um foam frame your three mil foam frame and what you're going to do is you're going to take the backer off you're going to leave all the pieces in like we did for this one and you're just going to take the frame backer off and then you're going to line it up on the oval and you're going to glue that or stick that down to the oval panel. 
and then pop all the extra foam pieces out. Do just like we did this shaker. It's exactly the same. You're just doing it on an oval panel. So then pop all the extra pieces out. Fill it with your colored acetate and your shaker bits. Put your other oval right on, oh, peel the backer off. Put your oval on the top of that. And then it's time to, de time to decorate that. So you're going to put a gold frame on the front. You're then going to put a gold frame on the back with adhesive on the back. You're going to line those up like that. So pretend like these are all punched out and all that jazz. I, I was lazy. I didn't punch any of these out. So just pretend like that's all done, you know, like they're all out of there. So then you're going to line this up on the back and you want to just check orientation to make sure they line up really, really nice. But you're going to do just like that. And it's going to have your acetate and your shaker bits in there. And then you're just going to hot glue whatever ribbon or cording you want around the edge. You're going to ad adhere whatever embellishments. These are out of the... um. Anna Griffin uh, Christmas stickers. And then I used Bodabra wi gold wire uh, ribbon on the top or gold wire string on the top of it. I just hot glued it to the top of the cording. And then I put my stickers on the top of it so you couldn't see it. You want to use the wire though. The wire is what helps hold it on the front. But you're going to hot glue that on. You're going to hot glue the cording on. Then hot glue the wire on the top of that. And then put all your embellishments. So if you end up putting the gold trim on it, put the stickers on. And I just made sure to get stickers that had mirror images so I could put them on the front and the back. And they would line up really nice. Because Anna, Anna does a really good job to make sure that you end up with mirrored images. And that's, that's what I did uh, for the top of this. And so that's, I mean, it is just as easy as doing this one. You're just using the oval panels that match the frame instead and that's how you get your ornament and so that is as easy as that that's how you get that that card there and then you just adorn it however you want and bada bing bada boom you're done so now the next one is the next card oh whoops is this one here this is the foil one so these are really easy the foil and then the um there was a diamond dust acetate frame one um that we did and uh, that that was a window panel card as well. So hang on one second. We'll do that after this one. So for this card here, all you're going to do is, you're, it's not a window panel card. You just need a card front. You need whatever you want to put on the top of it. And then you need a card stock that has adhesive on the front um, to get this layer here, to get that beautiful, um, oh, what is that? gold gilding flakes to get the gilding flake design on the front you just want a layer of cardstock with adhesive on the front and all you're going to do is you're going to peel off the backer for the adhesive and you're going to peel off the backer you'll want to do a neater job than i'm doing here You know how when you're in a hurry, everything, not everything, but things don't go as neatly as planned. <laughs> but you're going to peel that backer off. And you don't need it. You don't need adhesive on the back at all because if you want to pop it up on dimensionals or whatever, um, you just need the adhesive on the front to get the gilding flakes to stick. So then all you're going to do is, and you can use any color, any kind of gilding flakes you want, but it's basically these metallic flakes are the same thing gilding flakes same thing this was using this cosmic shimmer one and uh, we can go ahead and do that so then after i peel the backer off all i do is i take a pair of tweezers like a so and then i just grab a bunch of these and i just start plopping them onto the front and using the tweezers to kind of spread them out and then um you can use the edge of your tweezers um, if there's larger pieces, you can lay them out. You want to make sure to get like the different designs or colors in, you know, all over the card to where you're, you don't have clumps of the same color. And um, you're just going to press these into the adhesive. And these are so delicate. It does not take anything for these to stick. 
they they adhere really quick and really easy. These are very, very delicate little things. And they'll honestly, they'll stick to everything. And so then, yeah, you just kind of scoot. Use the tip of your um, tweezers. And you can scoot them around a bit if you want. And you just keep plunking down. Um, keep, keep until you get all the adhesive covered with the gilding flakes. Um, yeah, so I'm just... Oh, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> just literally grabbing chunks out. And I like the bigger ones because they, you know, obviously get more spaces of the adhesive done. Um, yeah, they get more, you know, they cover more area, more surface area of this. And so let me finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, so then when I get most of the surface area covered with the gilding flakes... Um, and I still have a few sticky spots left. I just take my finger and I just rub the top of the gilding flakes over to the spot where there's still adhesive um, coming through. Like this over here, I'll get all these other extra little pieces gathered up. And I'll just take my finger and I'll just move them over there and rub them into the adhesive. So then all you're going to do is you're just going to take your fingers, you're going to rub it over the top of this a pattern the design that you have here and knock down all the pieces that are protruding up and um rub it till it's all you know nice and smooth um and then you can rub you can take your finger and rub rub your finger around the edge just be careful not to get a paper cut you know and um like that till you get all of it all finished up and then there is your gilded panel and you use this literally just like any other layer on a card and so then I just added this gold frame to the top of it this this has a adhesive on the back I just added that peeled the backer off put it on the top burnished it down really good and that's how I got that super fun gilded flake panel for the top of this card and I just you know layered it up like you know, like any other normal piece. That's how you get this. That's how this one's done. So now, um, let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay. So I made, I actually already sent it off, but I made a card that had a, um, this design of a window panel in it. And it had diamond dust over the whole, um, over the layer that was in the window. And in and how to get that is you want to start with a window, uh, a card base and a mat layer that is um that has the window cut out in it. So just like we did at the very beginning, you're gonna cut your layer out of that and then set those aside. Uh, the other thing you also need for this card is you need two of the clear cardstock panels, uh, four and a quarter by um four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then what you need is you need a layering, the layering die cut out of acetate that has adhesive whoops, on both sides. It has adhesive on both sides. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to peel the back off one side. And I did this not adhered on the um, card panel. I think you could probably do it either way because there's only one section that actually has adhesive. And so you're going to peel one. Oh, I peeled the wrong side off. Whoops. That's okay. We'll see if it works. So you're going to take this layer and you're going to line it up in the middle of that cardstock, that clear cardstock panel. And so let's see if I can get this. You're going to do that. So now what you want to do is you want to take some diamond dust and you don't need that much. I use about three little scoopfuls. I don't know what, I don't know if that's a teaspoon or not. Um, I don't know. Let's do a fourth one just to be sure. Um, cause you can always put it on another card or use it as shaker bits. Um, and then all you're going to do is, um, to about that much diamond dust I take and I use alcohol ink and I just, this is sailboat blue since all our cards today are blue. I just add a couple drops of alcohol ink to the diamond dust and then I use something to stir it up and all my stuff's disposable because I just end up pitching it when I'm done. And then you're just gonna, 
Mix this up until that blue is covering all the diamond dust. Be really careful, especially if you have a rib at the bottom, because this stuff will flick out. Diamond dust is actually glass. It's not plastic like I thought it was. So when you're doing this technique, uh, yeah, you'll want to be really, really careful. And you'll want a thick piece of whether extra cardboard you have lying around uh, from packaging or something or thick cardstock um, when you go to press this in um, because this will get very pokey. So let me get this mixed up and I'll be right back. Whoops. Okay, so after I get this all mixed up, I'm going to take and I'm going to peel off the backer to the top adhesive. All right, come on. You're supposed to peel off on cue here. All right, let me get my pick tool and take that off. Hold on. You can just use your pick tool and it'll lift up a corner for you. And then um, you just peel that off. So now that's adhesive there, uh, like so. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take this colored diamond dust and you're just going to shake it all over the um, that acetate panel. I know mine didn't get mixed up that well. I was in a hurry trying to get this done. Now, do not use your fingers. Do not. Do not touch this stuff. Um, take your bone folder or some other scrapey tool and use it to push this stuff around. And you're just going to push this all over. Drag it all over the acetate like so. Um, scooting it along. Scooting it along like that. Just get it all around. Get it all around. But don't use your fingers. Do not. Press it in like that. That's all you're going to do. You're just scraping it around. Uh, don't don't scrape it too hard. Just be really gentle. Uh, reason being is you don't want to flick this like in your face or anything since it is glass, you know. Um... Just be very careful when you're doing it. And then once you get it all covering, um, once you get it all covering that acetate panel, this is where you take your uh, cardstock or extra cardboard and you're going to press that into the adhesive. Hang on one sec. This is like a super thick chipboard panel. And so I'm just going to use that and press it down. Press all that. Um, a part, part of what you're doing is you're burnishing all the diamond dust into the adhesive, but then you're also using your bone folder and smoothing it down to get all the pokey bits um, down and moved around so that way they're not going to poke up through your acetate window panel uh, once you go to adhere it. So you just want to make sure to go around the whole thing, and you can feel it through the cardstock, um, and just get all the way to the edges. And just burnish it with your your uh, burnishing tool. See, like, there's a pokey. Like, you can see it poking up right there. I don't know if it shows, but I don't want to pick it up because, um, you know, I got all that shards of glass there. So as soon as I get, well, not shards of glass, but, you know, the diamond dust. As soon as I get this done all the way around, um, I'm going to now discard this because it's all covered and ruined. Uh, I'm going to take this panel and I can either shake it off and save the pieces and do another one or you can just dump it off in the trash and I'm just going to dump it off in the trash to save time and I'm going to tap it off really good so hold on I'll be right back okay and so then after you get that um you know poured off or dumped off look how pretty isn't that great remember that one it was like a like a lavendery color um, that I did with this, but as soon as you get this done, if there's any pieces left around the edges, um, you can use a little soft bristle brush and brush it off. Um, but after that, uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to take, make sure your window, your other window panels clean and you want to put score tape on it. Um, this I would recommend doing score tape on and you want to run score tape all the way around the edges of it. Um, and make sure to get it's all sealed because that's what's going to seal in this. So once you get score tape all the way around, you're going to put this window panel over the top of this one. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I started this. So I got the um, 
I got the um, score tape on and I made sure that I put a little piece in wherever I thought it wasn't connected and uh, to make sure that when uh, the person receives it, it's not falling out. You know, you don't want, want your recipient to get, you know, all cut up and stuff on your card. So I, you want to just be sure to press this down really good and then make sure to burnish that score tape together. You want to make sure you press all the edges of that cardstock and adhere all the sides together so that way it's just nice and captured in there is what you want and then the other thing too is you want to um go ahead and buff off any of your you know fingerprints that are on the front of the card so then like all the other panels that we made look how pretty isn't that pretty uh, what you want to do is you then i score tape mine so i put score tape on the back of this and then i would line it up with that whole uh, you know, the window that I cut out on the front, layer that up, and then I would put my matte layer over the top of it, and then uh, proceed with uh, decorating it. But that is how that fun uh, window panel card is made, is just like that. Um, and then you get that great, that really beautiful diamond, sparkly diamond dust in there. And then when you put the uh, gold frame over the top of it, it is just lovely. It is such a lovely uh, presentation for a card, and it's it is nice. But that's it. That's it. That's how I that's how I got that one, and um, that's how that's done. And then you put all your flowers and your decorations on it, and it is super fun and nice. All right, guys, that's all I have today. That's all I have for you. Hopefully, this uh, technique video was helpful to you. Um, and kind of answered a few questions that you had. Sorry I couldn't go in more depth and make actual cards with you. It just would have been forever. We'd have been here for eternity. And um, yeah, I think uh, my husband would have probably thought I died <laughs> in the craft room. <laughs> Although not a bad way to go, right? But uh, anyhow, um, there it is there, guys. I hope you guys have a terrific, uh, you're having a terrific weekend or a terrific week whenever you end up watching this. And um, thanks again. If you made it to the end, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate you. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.